Hello students. In last lecture, we have discussed three types of tokens that are variables, constants and string literals. Now we will see the next one. The next topic is data types in C. Now we are writing programs because we want to perform some operation or manipulation on the data and for that purpose we should store the data somewhere so that the program can get the data because program work by processing the data so programs are getting that data as an input they are working on that data or processing on that data and then we will get required output programming languages are providing us the facility to store the data by using different ways c is also having a rich variety of data types which we can use each data element is associated with a type therefore we are using a data type with every data element and showing that in which format we want to store the data this is the hierarchy of c data types basically data types in c are divided into two subtypes one is simple and another is structured where simple data type is also divided into two subtypes in that first is standard and second is user defined in these two the standard data types in c are listed in the diagram character integer float double and void so these five are standard data type in c language then there are two user defined types that is enum and type def these are user defined data type of c language and the last type is structured structured data types are array structure and union this table gives the standard or built in data types in c there are five standard data types in c now we will see the actual data type used its meaning and the memory requirement or size of the data type in bytes first data type is int or integer it is used to store integer value or whole number its memory requirement is 2 bytes or 4 bytes so size allocated for an integer depends upon the compiler second standard data type is character which is represented by char it is used to store a single digit and memory requirement of this data type is 1 byte the next data type is a float it is used to store a real number which is having decimal points or an exponent as per the requirement and its memory requirement is 4 bytes next data type is double which is represented by the word double it is double precision floating point number which gives the precision of 14 digits its memory requirement is 8 and the last data type is void now its meaning is empty data type whenever any function is not returning the value then it will be declared as a void so as it is empty data type it does not require the memory and the last column of this table is giving us the range range of the data type 
up to which value we can store the data. Now we will start user defined types. From that the first is enumerated type. Now enumerated type is a user defined type where the values are from finite set of identifiers which are called as enumeration constants and we can define this data type with its set of identifiers by using following syntax. So its syntax is enum. Now enum is a keyword followed by data type name. Here we can give any data type name as per our requirement or the choice. Only the thing is it should be self explanatory. Now followed by curly bracket and in that curly bracket there is a set of constants but that set should be a finite set. Now we will see example of enumerated data type enum color and in curly bracket red, blue and green. Here enum is the keyword which is used for user defined data type that is enumerated type. Then color is the new data type and red, blue, green are the constants which are representing integer values of 0, 1 and 2 respectively. Now these values are not provided or specified with their names that is red, blue, green are not having any values shown in the set but that values can be explicitly specified for example enum color and in curly bracket we can write red is equal to 10 comma blue and green is equal to 30. Now here as red is equal to 10 for blue 11 will be assigned but green will be 30. But if value for green is not specified in the set, then 12 value will be assigned to the green. So this is the example of enumerated data type. Second type of user defined data type is type def. C provides us the facility which is called as type def and its use is for creating new data type name. Here we can use type def to give a new name to our data type and for this we can use the following syntax type def space type space identifier. Here type def is a keyword. After that the type that type can be standard or derived type and that type is the type for which we want to create new data type. Okay, So this type is following by an identifier that is nothing but the user defined name. So for which particular data type user want to use which name that is given in the syntax means type def and the standard or derived type and then user defined name. In this way we can create new data type names by using type def facility. Now let us see example for type def. Type def unsigned long u long and the statement is ending with semicolon. Here u long data type is created and which is exactly similar to unsigned long. So at the place of unsigned long we can write u long. It will be exactly similar to unsigned long. Another example is type def 
आर एन टी इंटीजर सो कैपिटल इंटीजर वर्ड इज सिनोनिम और इट विल बी एग्जैक्टली सेम एज आई एन टी सो वेन एवर वी वॉन्ट टू डिक्लेयर एनी डेटा विच इज ऑफ टाइप इंटीजर एट द प्लेस ऑफ आई एन टी वी कैन राइट डाउन इंटीजर इन कैपिटल लेटर्स एंड इट विल वर्क एज लाइक आई एन टी नाउ लेट एस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टोकन दैट इज ऑपरेटर्स एंड एक्सप्रेशंस when we want to perform any operation on the data then we require operators so an operator is a symbol that represents an operation for example if we are using one particular operator that is plus then it is for addition purpose now these operators are informing to the compiler which action it should perform on one or more operands because operators are used with the operands if we are having combination of variables constants and operators together and if that combination is following the syntax of the language then it is called as an expression in c language every expression gives us some value so result of every expression is a value just we have defined an expression so expression is combination of variables constants and number of operators so whenever there are number of operators then we have to decide the order of evaluation of that operators so whenever we want to find out the order of evaluation then we get that order by using the concept of priority or which is called as precedence so whenever more than one operators are present in an expression then first we will see their priority and as per their priority we can evaluate that expression there can be some operators which can have similar priority so in an expression if there are operators which are having similar priority then we have to check their associativity so what is associativity it tells us the order of evaluation of that operators which are having similar priority and they can have associativity from left to right or right to left so priority and associativity of operators in an expression is very important concept so expressions are having number of operators that operators can be unary means what it operates on one operand means if single operand is there then also that operator can perform some operation or action on that operand then it is called as unary operator second is binary as its name suggest it operates on two operands so binary operator performs operation on two operands or it requires two operands for performing some action and third one is ternary operator here it requires three operands to perform some operation or action operators are divided into number of types their classification is depending on the operation they perform therefore various types of operators are the first one is arithmetic operators then relational operators logical operators increment and decrement operators bitwise operators assignment operators and conditional operators these are different types of operators now we will see each and every operator 
वन बाय वन फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेटर इज एरिथमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स वी आर वेल नोन ऑफ एरिथमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स दीज ऑपरेटर्स परफॉर्म एरिथमेटिक ऑपरेशन देर आर फाइव एरिथमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स इन द टेबल ऑपरेटर एंड इट्स पर्पज इज गिवन सो फर्स्ट इज प्लस इट इज यूज फॉर एडिशन माइनस इट इज यूज फॉर सब्ट्रैक्शन और इट इज ऑल्सो यूज एज यूनरी देन स्टार इज यूज फॉर मल्टीप्लीकेशन स्लैश इज यूज फॉर डिविजन एंड परसेंट साइन इज यूज एज मॉड ऑपरेटर विच गिवस रिमाइंडर आफ्टर इंटीजर डिविजन सो दीज आर ऑल एरिथमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स here it is simple example of arithmetic operators consider two variables a and b and these two variables are integer variables value of a is assigned as 16 and b is equal to 3 so in this table we are using all arithmetic operators on these two values a is equal to 16 and b is equal to 3 first column is for expression and second column gives the result of expression so whenever we write plus 16 result will be 16 when we write minus 5 it will answers minus 5 if the expression is a plus b the answer will be 16 plus 3 that is nothing but 19 a minus b means 16 minus 3 it will generate 13 as a answer then a into b that is nothing but multiplication of 16 and 3 that is 48 after that a divided by b that is 16 divided by 3 answer is nothing but 5 because decimal part is truncated and the answer is in terms of integer that is whole number only after that a mod b you know that mod operator results the remainder so it first divides the numerator by denominator and then generates remainder as an answer so 16 divided by 3 okay quotient will be 3 and remainder will be 1 so answer of this expression will be 1 in this way we can use arithmetic operators now we will see by using an example how the precedence and associativity of arithmetic operators is used in an expression so this is a table which gives us precedence and associativity so at the first number there is star that is multiplication division and mod operator these three operators are having higher precedence than plus and minus and these three operators are having similar precedence or priority similarly on second number there is plus and minus these two are having less priority than these three operators and they are at the equal precedence similarly in second column associativity is given means what if we are having the operators having similar priority in our expression then their evaluation order will be from left to right means as they are having similar priority we will solve them from left to right direction same thing for plus and minus if in the same expression both the operators are present then we will evaluate them from left to right so this table shows both the terms that is precedence and associativity now we will discuss one example in which priority and associativity both are used this is the 
example so this expression contains some variables or constants and there is set of operators now see in this example many division operators are used as well as one multiplication and one mod operator is also used now these are having similar priority but we have to now check their associativity now if we check their associativity then it is left to right so we will solve the operator which is to the leftmost side that is division operator so we will solve first 5 by 2 and as this expression is for integer numbers it will not display decimal points so 5 by 2 is equal to 2 if we want to print an integer then remaining expression will be as it is now in remaining operators again multiplication division and mod operator are there which are having similar priorities but again we have to check their associativity and that is left to right therefore we will solve star or multiplication operator first so that will be solved 6 into 2 equal to 12 and remaining expression will be written as it is again in next division operator is also there and mod operator is also there again we will use the associativity concept and solve this division first so 25 divided by 5 equal to 5 and now the higher priority operator is only one now that is mod operator that will be solved so 5 mod 4 it will give us the remainder 1 now in this expression only low priority operators are remaining that are plus and minus now see plus and minus are having same priority now we will see their associativity and it is from left to right so to the left there is a plus so first we will solve 2 plus 4 that is 6 and remaining expression will be as it is again as associativity is left to right we will solve minus operator first or subtraction operator first 6 minus 12 that is minus 6 remaining expression as it is again we will solve minus 6 plus 5 it will give us minus 1 remaining minus 1 as it is and now the result will be minus 2 so this is how we can use priority and associativity of operators while solving an expressions second type of operator is relational operators these operators are used to compare an expression so whenever we want to show the relation among operands then we can use relational operators and our expression results true or false when we use relational operators so answer will be true or false there are six relational operators all six operators are recorded in this table that are greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to equal to now equal to will be used to check the equality and last relational operator is not equal to here are some examples of relational operators 25 less than 30 it's true 2.5 less than or equal to 2.5 it is also true character a is equal to 97 it is true here we are using equal to for checking equality okay character b is less than character a now it is false because 
इंटीजर वैल्यू और आस्की वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज 97 एंड ऑफ बी इज 98 देयरफॉर बी लेस देन ए इज फॉल्स इन दिस वे वी कैन यूज रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स नाउ हियर ट्रू इज having integral number 1 and false is represented by integral number 0 this is all about today's lecture now the remaining tokens we will discuss in next lecture thank you